Good morning. Good good evening. Whatever time it is that you're watching this, it's morning for me. Uh, we are going to start building our farmhouse table today. We're going to build everything from scratch, minus the legs. I did order the legs. We want to be able to sit eight people around it, doing something a little bit, I want to say crazy, but definitely a little bit ambitious uh, in terms of the look that we're going for. We are going to be doing a herringbone style top. So these are the legs. Uh, we actually ordered these on Amazon. There's a small woodworking shop in Texas called Woodworking by Griffith or Woodwork by Griffith. Um, and they have all sorts of designs, but these are the ones that we went with. Um, we wanted something not too ornate, uh, but we wanted something a little bit more than just a stock 4x4. Uh, and these definitely hit the mark. These have all sorts of character in them, which some of this will be sanded out, but we want to keep a lot of it as well. Uh, some of the knots and whatnot, obviously we're not going to be able to get rid of those, but and we don't want to. Uh, but for the most part, they're all, you can tell they're all handmade and unique because they're all just a little bit different um, in regards to some of the, the turning, like here versus here. There's definitely a difference if you look side by side. Um, and we like that. Uh, also, again, you can see some of the knots. This one has a little bit of a chunk out of it. Some people would probably be kind of pissy about that, but I dig it. I think it's going to look really cool. Um, where the 4x4 was strapped in. So some distressedness. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with. I'm really excited. They're a little long for the tabletop that we're going to use. So we do have to cut them down a little bit, but that is not a big deal. All right, so here's our table. Um, I'm using... Douglas fir um, and the reason we wanted to use this versus like a maple or a finished board uh, is Samantha really likes the little bit of the rounded edge um, she likes to see that the boards are, are separate so we've got one by fours for the apron and the cross supports and then we've got this for the trim here so we're gonna do the whole border and then we're gonna do the trim like I said um, and then we'll go from there I have made farm tables before and it's it's really pretty straightforward I mean realistically for a, for an old-school farm table look everything's usually pretty square rectangular straight lines relatively simple um, it's kind of how you finish it that gives it that real look um, obviously there are more ornate types of styles and whatnot on there that you can you can mimic you can copy you can do all sorts of things for so Let's get the, the room ready so we can work. Like I said, this is what we're working with here. We've got the dining room. We got boxes everywhere. We got our heat presses over there. We got stuff for the wedding in October. We've got all sorts of stuff. So I'm working in a little bit of chaos. It's not a, a shop like I have kind of grown accustomed to, but that's okay. That's coming. That'll get ready. That'll be done shortly as well. Shortly. Uh, we should be getting electrical in the next couple weeks. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, let's get the room set up so I have a workspace.